I'm Tina Wynn here at the Texas A&M Auditorium with sophomore swimmer, butterfly specialist, freestyle and backstroke specialist Barrow Gastadello. Barrow, thank you for joining me today. How are you? You're welcome. I'm wonderful. Let's start off by talking about last year. I want to focus on the SEC championship last year. You stole the show by never placing off the podium in seven total events. And you also broke a Texas A&M school record in the 100 butterfly and the 50 freestyle. Looking back, did you ever think you would do so well? Um, honestly, I didn't know what to expect since I come from a, a country where we practice only long course and here we practice in yards and we race in yards as well for the university. So I didn't know what to expect and I was just, I was surprised because the other were surprised about what I've accomplished here. So I was great. So let's take a step back and talk about you personally. You come from a family heavy of swimmers. Your grandmother and mother were both Olympian swimmers. Your dad and your brother swims. So how did this all start for you? Um, it started when I was seven years old. Um, every year we used to choose what sport we want to do with my mom and my brother around the table. And I didn't know what to choose. Uh, my brother chose swimming and I just followed him and I started swimming. Going back to your mom, at one point in her swimming career, she held the French national record in the 50 backstroke. How long ago was that? So yeah, it was uh, 31 years ago and I broke that record again last year during uh, French national championships. What was that feeling like for you when you found out that your mom held that record and now you hold that record? It was awesome because I didn't know before and she was very proud of me and it was an emotional moment and I'm I will remember it my whole life. A couple years ago, you were told by the doctors that the chances of you swimming at a very high level was very rare. Can you walk me through what the doctors told you? Yes, they said that it would be hard for me to swim at a high level again after what I got because I had mono for three years and I could not go to school, could not swim, but just sleep. That's the only thing that I did. So <clears throat> it was a tough period and I'm very glad that I'm here right now. It's crazy thinking that was only a couple years ago and now we look at 2016, you're on the pursuit to the Olympics. Was this ever a dream for you growing up? Um, the Olympic Games, it's more than a dream, I guess. You know, it's an achievement of all the work you've been putting on for years. Mm -hmm. And so it's a goal for me. Talking about NCAAs in March, you leave for that, you come back three day days later, you leave for France to yes. go for the Olympic trials. What is your mindset going into this? My mindset, um, I have a lot of determination. I'm, I am confident because I did the job, you know, and I trust in my coach, Steve, coach Steve and Tanika. So I'm confident and I'm just gonna go for it, have fun and qualify for the Olympics.